Dania De Luca gained a deeper understanding of her dog's affection for her children when she walked into her daughter's room one day. There, she witnessed an unusual scene. The dog displaying peculiar behavior towards the baby. The revelation behind this oddity had far-reaching consequences, impacting the lives of numerous people. Dania had harbored a love for dogs since her childhood, rooted in the fond memories of her parents gifting her a furry companion when she was just a toddler. Her empathy for her pet's well-being forged unbreakable bonds with each puppy her father brought home. As a devoted mother, she imparted her knowledge to her own children, ensuring they interacted harmoniously with dogs. Her aspiration was to provide them with the joyous childhood she had experienced, believing that a household without a pet was incomplete. Motivated by her passion, Dania chose to adopt a puppy from Heidi's legacy dog. Rescue in Tampa, Florida. This canine proved to be a cherished addition to her family. Remaining by their side for a glorious 13 years before crossing the Rainbow Bridge. When their beloved companion passed away, Molly and Joey, Dania's seven-year-old daughter and four-year-old son, were devastated. After taking time to mourn, Dania and her husband, Adam, resolved to bring another pet into their lives, initially contemplating different animals like cats or rabbits. They ultimately decided to stick with a dog as they were accustomed to the companionship, petting, and long walks in the park. Returning to the shelter, Dania came across a two-year-old German Shepherd that had been rescued months earlier. Despite the dog's history of maltreatment and trauma, Dania was undeterred by the visitor's apprehensions about its perceived danger. Captivated by the dog's beauty and calm demeanor, she believed it was the perfect addition to her family, and decided to adopt him, confident that he could be rehabilitated and trained to live harmoniously with humans and other pets. Dania's husband, Adam, initially thought she was crazy for considering the adoption of a traumatized dog. He was apprehensive, fearing that the dog might pose a threat to their children and make them regret the decision. Adam, influenced by stories he had heard about pet dogs, harming children when unsupervised, was reluctant to take the risk. After thorough discussions, the couple decided to temporarily put the adoption on hold. However, as weeks passed without a pet at home, the family found it challenging to cope. Realizing their longing for a furry companion, they revisited the shelter together. Dania took the opportunity to introduce house toth rest of her family, even going so far as to point out perceived resemblances between house and herself, though not entirely accurate. Despite initial hesitations, Adam was eventually persuaded by Dania's conviction, and house found his forever home. In the days following House's arrival, he endeared himself to everyone in the family. Molly and Joey embraced their new playmate, and even the neighbors grew fond of House for his friendly demeanor. True to his name, House became a welcoming presence, accommodating visitors and gaining popularity in the neighborhood. At night, House silently watched over the kids, ensuring their safety without their knowledge. He engaged in playful activities with them during the day, creating a deep and strong bond. Both Dania and Adam became convinced that adopting the German Shepherd had been a wise decision. However, a few weeks into settling in, House developed a peculiar habit. He would spend hours wandering aimlessly in the backyard, as if searching for something valuable that had been lost. 
initially dismissing House's peculiar behavior as within his rights in their shared home. Dania didn't think much of it. However, the strange actions escalated over the course of a few days. House began incessantly following the kids, invading their privacy even in the bathroom, and barking at the slightest provocations from adults. The protector had turned aggressive, especially around Molly's room, rejecting Dania's attention. A departure from his usual behavior of seeking affection. Unable to articulate his concerns. House couldn't communicate the impending danger to Dania. Unaware of the evolving situation. She began to fear for her child's safety. Despite her previous trust in House's loyalty around her kids. The change in his behavior raised alarms. One evening. After a day out with Molly's grandmother, the two returned home tired and settled for dinner before bedtime, sharing a last cookie. They left food crumbs on the floor, planning to clean up the mess the next morning. As they attempted to sleep, House started barking uncontrollably. Molly, accustomed to his lonely barking tactic, remained unperturbed. But her grandmother sensed it as a warning. Turning on the lights, Grandma called for Dania's help to uncover the cause of House's restlessness. Searching the room yielded no apparent provocation. Until they reached the far corner behind a large wooden wardrobe. House, reacting strongly, barked louder and jumped forward, forcing them to retreat. It became evident that House was in distress, unconscious and gasping for breath. His aggression waned, replaced by weakness. Within seconds, he collapsed. Dania approached her pet dog for examination, finally realizing that something had motivated his unusual actions throughout the day. On closer inspection, she discovered a visible issue on his body that had eluded her attention until that critical moment. She discovered three large snake bites on House's front leg and promptly identified the aggressor as a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes, known to strike multiple times, had left their venomous mark on House's leg. In a swift move, Dania instructed her kids and mother to leave the room, returning with a large chopping knife, purposefully hiding the intruder. A rattlesnake, coiled innocently under the bed. She understood the potential danger. Rattlesnake venom can cause significant damage to tissues, affect the circulatory system, and lead to internal hemorrhage. The venom's swift travel across House's body explained his immediate collapse. Without prompt treatment, snake bites can result in organ damage or death. Experts recommend emergency care within 30 minutes of a snake bite. Fearful for House's well-being, Dania called emergency services. Fortunately, they arrived swiftly transporting the hero dog to the vet for urgent care. The snake had injected a substantial amount of deadly venom, offering House slim chances of survival. However, thanks to quick action, House reached the Tampa hospital early enough to be revived. In a remarkable recovery, House received several vials of anti-venom daily for five days and spent additional time in the ICU. Astonishing doctors with his speedy recovery. House returned to Molly and Joey, his loyal guardian angel. News of his heroic act spread, prompting neighbors to share the story on social media. A GoFundMe page titled, Help Save House, surpassed its $28,000 goal raising over $52,000. Animal lovers worldwide expressed support through encouraging words and financial contributions. 
overwhelmed by the global outpouring of love. Dania and her family were touched by the generosity of strangers. House, having triumphed over adversity, resumed his role as the cherished protector of Molly and Joey. Dania encouraged viewers to share their own stories of hero dogs. Expressing gratitude for the supportive community, the town had just experienced a terrible typhoon. The woman planned to go nearby to buy some supplies. However, as soon as she got out of the car, she saw a dog walking alone on the road. It had a huge dog in its mouth. From time to time, he raised his head to look at the people passing by. Looking very pitiful. Why is the dog walking on the road with such a big bag in its mouth? In the end what happened? Dogs are human's best friend. And they have gradually become part of many people's lives. We often see many heartwarming stories between shit shovelers and dogs. While these stories move us, they also let everyone know that animals also have feelings. As long as you give them love, they will love you. Will give you absolute loyalty. The protagonist of the story is a brown German. Shepherd named Otis. When Otis was a puppy, he was adopted by the owner's family. The little boy in the family liked Otis very much. And the two of them were inseparable companions. Six years have passed. And Otis has also become a big dog. In order to avoid the coming typhoon, the family temporarily left the town. But the little boy's grandfather intends to stay here. And the family decided to keep Otis with him. And his grandfather promised that he would take care of Otis until the family returned. Grandpa was actually the first to spot Otis. Many years ago, a man drove Otis around town looking for a place to put him. For some reason, he couldn't continue to take care of this young dog. His grandfather took him in immediately when he saw it. This puppy was given to his grandson as a pet. The little boy is delighted to have a new friend. And in fact the whole family thinks highly of Otis. Despite the sad look on the dog's face when he first arrived home. Still reeling from the shock of being sent away. By his previous owner middle. However. Its fluffy hair and docile personality make the family feel that it is very approachable and it soon gained the love of the whole family. One of the most popular pets in the United States. Dogs are loyal animals that are perfect for families as well as singles. Otis has all the wonderful traits of a dog. And people treat Otis differently. Many restaurants or buildings ban dogs from entering. But this lovely brown dog has never experienced this situation, because Otis is very well behaved. Everyone in the town likes him very much. Usually Otis will wander around. As long as there are people, he can always ask for food. In the words of the owner, he is not worried about dogs at all. The dog will starve because the people of the town are happy to give him food. A terrible typhoon fell on this small town. And this typhoon caused a lot of damage to the small town. A few months later, a young woman had just returned from out of town and was going to see how her neighbors were doing. Luckily the area she was in was not too damaged and no one was hurt. When she was about to go home, she suddenly found a lonely and pitiful dog, walking forward with a huge bag in its mouth. The woman was surprised. Was the dog lost? She was worried about the dog. So the young woman rushed after it. The dog, which has very sensitive ears, heard the woman's footsteps behind him, and turned to face her when the bag it was holding in its mouth fell to the ground. 
The woman's heart melted as she approached. The dog and looked at it up close. The giant bag contained dog food. Enough food to feed the dog for a long time. The woman understood that the dog had lost. Its owner in the typhoon. So it had to search for its owner on the street. With food in its mouth. The woman was so distressed by the dog that. She took her phone out of her pocket. Took a picture of the dog and posted the dog's. Information online in case anyone was looking for it. Seeing that the woman didn't make any. Further moves. The dog picked up the bag and continued. Walking down the street. The woman thought the dog was walking back. To where its owner was. As if on a mission. The woman couldn't bear the dog to walk. The next road alone. So she set off on the journey with the dog. They walked for several miles before the dog finally stopped in front of a house. The woman knocked on the door, which opened almost immediately and a man stepped out. The man didn't recognize the woman and asked her if she was okay. She nodded enthusiastically, then stepped aside, pointed at the dog and asked the man, is that your dog? The man was so excited that his Otis was finally home. He waved to the dog. Who walked towards them. After Otis walked up to the owner. He put down the big bag in his mouth. Revealing the food inside. The man saw what was inside. And he was very proud of Otis' resourcefulness. So he bent down and gave a big hug to Otis. The man finally understood the ins and outs of the matter. The town had been preparing for a typhoon a few months ago. Locals heard from the news and weather forecasts that the typhoon was very dangerous, so people stocked up on food at home and then evacuated the entire city. He chose to stay with the dog and get the house packed. The dog had been sitting quietly on the porch when Otis suddenly heard a loud noise and jumped up in fright. The typhoon was coming and it was dark outside. The dog wanted to protect its owner and ran away. Going out. The man looked at the dog he rushed out, very anxious. But it was too windy outside and it was raining. He called Otis' name loudly. But there was no response. The dog couldn't hear it at all. The typhoon trapped the man at home. And he had to wait until the next day to go out to find Otis and they just got separated. Due to the impact of the typhoon. People are hiding at home. Closing doors and windows tightly. And there are no shops or restaurants that. Are open to give food as usual. Otis thought that someone was going to hurt his owner. But when he ran out to find the villain. He was swept to the door of a store by the typhoon. He found a large bag of dog food in the store and then hid between the shelves and lived to avoid the terrible typhoon outside. The dog waited in the store until the typhoon left and then started to find his way home with a large bag of food in his mouth. However, there were ruins everywhere on the road which made it more difficult for the dog to go home. After the typhoon left, the man also left the house to look for Otis. Even after searching for hours, he did not see Otis. After a few months like this, the man went out to look for his dog every day. But he couldn't find it. He could only pray for the dog to come back by himself. Until the woman knocked on the door with Otis. They finally met again. The woman posted her photo of Otis online. And many people have been asking about the story behind the dog and the huge bag it carries. The woman offered an explanation. The dog's name is Otis. Who was separated from his owner during the typhoon. And it took months to find his way home. But he is smart enough to carry a whole bag of. Dog food with him. 
people were moved by the perseverance of the dog. The typhoon disrupted the lives of many people. However, everyone was very brave and tried there. Best to help each other. Otis persevered in finding the return. This tenacious spirit resonated with the people. On the road to home. As the most loyal partner of human beings. The relationship between dogs and their owners. Transcends distance and time. In the face of danger. The loyalty, bravery and wisdom shown by dogs. Have moved countless people. Well, this is the end of this video. If you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment. We will continue to bring you more touching. Stories about animals. So see you next time.